Hey everyone, this is Dr. Palacios, and I'm here to review another question and comment regarding our supplements for migraine headaches. Today's comment is going to be about CoQ10 ubiquinol or ubiquinol, whichever name you prefer to use for this specific topic. Now here is the question. I take B2, magnesium, and feverfew as supplements for my headaches, which usually really helps, but with the heat, I have had more headaches this last four weeks than I have the entire year. My question is though, has anyone had any luck by adding CoQ10 to their supplements? As you have heard, she's taking other kinds of supplements that we already discussed about, such as B2, magnesium, but then feverfew is another one that I might make an episode later on. But today is about CoQ10. Now let's take a look at CoQ10 into what it is, what it does, and if there are any clinical studies showing its effectiveness. So let's take a look first at what it does. So CoQ10 is a type of molecule that allows the transport of electrons in this electrotransfer chain, which is located in the mitochondria and is used for the production of energy, ATP. CoQ10 allows this process to take place evenly, smoothly, and without any fault or deficiencies. And once we understand that in migraines, people who suffer migraines, they have mitochondria that are suboptimal. So CoQ10 really boosts the production of ATP and allow the mitochondria to work at it, their optimal level. In the medical community, CoQ10 has been used in the form of either ubiquinone, the inactive form, or ubiquinol, <clears throat> its active form, to help patients with heart failure because its concentration allows the heart to pump stronger and more efficient. Now, you may be wondering what are some sources of CoQ10 in foods in case you don't want to purchase the supplement itself. Now, these are the three most common foods that are gonna have the highest levels of CoQ10. First one is gonna be oily fish. The second one are gonna be organ meats, specifically the liver. And then number three, it's going to be whole grain products. Now for migraines, CoQ10 has been proven to work against the nausea, reduce the number of episodes and the intensity of pain once they started on CoQ10 after a couple months of usage. It's also believed that migraine sufferers tend to have an underactive mitochondria like we talked about. So it's believed that this CoQ10 elevates its optimization and it works by providing its adequate protection. And lastly, CoQ10 provides a huge amount of energy and is a strong antioxidant, not just for the heart, but also for the brain, which the brain can truly appreciate. Now for CoQ10, one can take it freely, but it needs to reach a certain amount of dosage or it won't work. And, but the nice thing about it, it does not accumulate in the body and the side effect profile is quite low. So if you think that CoQ10 is a supplement that you would like to try, please reach out to me and we'll discuss that supplementation and other factors that could help improve your migraine conditions. And remember that we also wanna take a look at stress factors, diet changes, and other lifestyle modifications that will just help us increase our optimal level of health. And if you'd like to work together and address the root causes of your migraines, please click on my bio link below. And we can also find alternative ways to your migraines and other conditions as well. And it's all at the comfort of your home. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.